Set it and come get it till the sun starts coming down. I need this one. Which one? This one. What do you need? This? No. Okay. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to my home here. We are live in Evans, Georgia. We are not at the Rec Tech Grills Worldwide Headquarters. We are here at my home. Meet my son, John Dillon. He's going to be helping us out today. Say, hey, John Dillon. Mm. Show everybody a shirt. Say, hey. All right, he is the best helper, helper let me tell you. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in again. This is Lunch Break, presented by our friends at Rec Tech Grills. Hands down, some of the best pellet grills out there in America, so we would really appreciate you guys to go to rectechgrills.com and check out those amazing, amazing products. Uh, I it's encourage you. Show. It's John Dillon's cooking show. That's what it's all about. Man, I couldn't have said it better myself, John <laughs> Dillon. That was a heck of a job, buddy. Uh, but today, we're hoping to bring you some normalcy. Hey, hey, hey. We're hoping to bring you some normalcy as well as uh, to break up your day with our lunch break content. Again, you can join us live Monday through Friday, uh, 12 p.m. noon Eastern Standard. Uh, we just want to, yeah, I know, sorry. Uh, hey, hey, Uncle Ray, how are you doing? Uh, Ray Corns is in the comment section. Say, hey, Uncle Ray. Happy. Say, hey, Uncle Ray. Hey, Uncle Ray, I closed, I closed, I closed. We got our new salesman, Uncle Ray. He's right here. We're uh, boosting him up. We're getting, <laughs> we're getting him some knowledge. Uh, but today we're going to be bringing you guys jalapeno poppers, and I encourage you to watch us live every day, Monday through Friday, live right here on the Rec Tech Girls Facebook page to get yourself some amazing ideas and some amazing recipes. Speaking of recipes, John Dillon, thank you for saying that. Uh, you guys can check out rectechgirls.com forward slash lunch break for each and every one of these amazing recipes that Chef John, Chef Greg, and myself are bringing you live. Um, you guys should start seeing some recipes rolling in if you're already signed up. Uh, it's a great week this week. Uh, if you didn't already know, we're giving two RT340s. That's right, two RT340s. Uh, no, hold on just a second. I gotta talk to the people. Yep, all right, two RT340s. And if you stay tuned, we're gonna tell you how you can win yourself the Big Daddy, the Boss Hog, the RT700, the grill behind me. So if you stay tuned till the end of the show, I'm gonna tell you how you can win yourself an RT700. Um, but man, uh, happy Easter, everyone. Uh, we had a great day here at the Flanagan household. Uh, there was a storm that rolled through at about one o'clock. No, that, that, that's the bottle opener. You don't need to open any wine bottles. But we had a great Easter. We went Easter egg hunting. We cooked a, a glazed ham, spiral ham, with all the fixings, and it was absolutely amazing. And uh, thank you to everybody who tagged me in their post over Easter, showing me their amazing hams and their amazing cooks. You know, you know you that we absolutely love that. Uh, Chef Greg and Chef John also appreciate you guys tagging us and, and all of your cooks and, and showing uh, all of the world how you live your Rectech lifestyle. So we really do appreciate that. Um, but again, if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section down below. I'll try my darndest to get to them here on the iPad. Um, but one thing I have been noticing is you have been kind of slacking on the questions lately so i need you to hit us hard with some of those hard hitting questions because you could actually have yep you could actually have your question featured on a rec tech girls email on one of those lunch break recipe emails so please any and all questions that you have if something comes up in the middle of the night go right back to this video and, and put it in the comment section we really would appreciate it um and then what would you guys like for us to cook you know we have a lot of great ideas at least we think they're great. Uh, but we do obviously need to some help so we don't repeat things. Um, so please, uh, if you, you know, want to see us cook something, uh, if you're curious about something, uh, if you'd like to see uh, how something is done uh, in a different way, please put it in the comment section down below. We really would appreciate it. Hey, I need, to, I need to answer some of these folks' questions. You know how to work this thing way too good. But I set my notifications 
here on Facebook so I know when we go live. And then boom, look, you see yourself there? Um, we are live right now. And uh, I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys in the comments section. Um, Bob is already hitting us hard with a really good question. What is the highest temperature um, rated for the cooking mats? And that is a great question. We actually went over that this morning in our uh, company meeting. Uh, but 400 degrees is really the max. Um, you don't want any direct flame whatsoever. Um, but if you're cooking on the RTB380 bullseye, I encourage you to not jack it up above 450 degrees um, because you're going to get a lot of that direct flame action and it might actually burn the mat up. So can't use it on the wild side. No direct flame cooking on the amazing stick resistant cooking mat. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this thing is a lifesaver for me. Anything that you don't want to fall in between the grate, um, you know, the, the mat is great for. Uh, it's uh, stick resistant. It's also dishwasher safe. Now, it doesn't last forever in the dishwasher if you use it in the dishwasher, um, but you can hand wash it. Chef Greg likes to hand wash it, and of course, they last much, much longer when you hand wash them. But this amazing accessory is available at rectechgirls.com. I highly suggest you pick one up. I actually put my Boston butts on them. Uh, anything, to, like we'll put our jalapeno poppers on them today, but anything that you don't want to fall in the grate or uh, a bunch of items like asparagus or uh, Brussels sprouts, carrots, any vegetables work great. Shrimp also work really good on this. Uh, but I would encourage you to check that out. It works great on any grill or in the oven as well. So check that out at rectechgirls.com. But I really, I really do thank each and every one of you for joining us today. And of course, we want to send a special shout out and a bunch of love to all of the frontline workers, the police, fire, medical, EMT, uh, nurses, doctors, even the folks that clean up the hospital, um, the janitors, um, uh, trash workers, uh, power professionals that keep our power going. We really do appreciate each and every one of you guys for getting up and going to work every day and keeping this country going. Uh, we also want to send a special shout out to the folks in the southeast that were affected by the tornadoes and storms last night. We're all praying and thinking of you guys, so don't worry. You know, we'll get through this just like everything else. Um, we're Americans, so uh, anything you throw at us, we can, we can handle, baby. Uh, but our, our, our thoughts and prayers go out to those folks affected. Uh, we do have a lot of folks locally here in the CSRA that were affected by those storms. So our thoughts and prayers go out to you. Uh, we're all thinking of you. Um, it, it really sucks that it, you kind of had double dipped on the crappiness. So our thoughts and prayers are going out to you today. But nonetheless, let's bring you some good content. Uh, we're going to do jalapeno poppers today. One of my favorite things. It's a great tailgating recipe. Um, this is a great recipe that you can make your own. Say you like chicken more than anything in the world. Well, I don't have any chicken here, but you can add chicken to this recipe. Uh, let's say you know you're a crazy vegetable person. You can throw some vegetables in this bad boy as well. Uh, so this is a really cool recipe to make your own. It's also a really great recipe for the kids to help with. Besides the jalapenos, you know, being a little spicy, uh, this is a great recipe that the kids can help with. So I would encourage you to get out there and, and teach the kids how to cook. Uh, and uh, get out there and make some memories with your family because I mean that's that's the one thing that we all have in common man we all need to breathe and we all need to eat um, so we really encourage you to get out there and make some memories you're not stuck at home with your, your family this is a blessing in disguise I promise you ah, but everybody in the comment section thank you so much uh, Ray Carnes the owner of Rec Tech Grills is out there Uncle Ray I really appreciate you watching us um, so if you have any questions for Ray or myself Please put them in the comment section. Bob already hit us hard with one, with one of the good questions. Um, but I already have some jalapenos done and I do need to pull them off. I wanna go ahead and show you guys those now. But that stick resistant cooking mat really did an amazing job for me. And I got a couple of different variations, but check these delicious looking bad boys out. We'll let those cool down a little bit. We'll cut into those, and I'm probably gonna eat about half of them live on camera with you because they are so good. But it couldn't be easier. The tools that you're gonna need for this delicious recipe uh, are as follows. Well, let me, let me send some special shout outs. Charlie Weir, what about shrimp? Charlie, I got shrimp here, buddy. 
Don't you worry. I'm about to show you some Sprint, buddy. Uh, happy Monday, Tamara. Thank you, for, thank you for always watching, Tamara. We see you out there. Texas is in the house. Uh, what's up, Robbie Nix? What's up, Christopher Long? Linda Moore. Linda, you always watch, and I really do appreciate you for doing that. Thank you so much, Linda. You were the best. Uh, Jim uh, Chmielinski. Jim, you're always out there. I really do appreciate you. Andy Strasser, he's always out there. Nicholas Dalton, of course. You guys know him. Uh, Christopher Long. Rob Arocha, Bullhorn Barbecue. Champion Pitmasters in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, Rob. Bill LaSaft. What's up, Bill? What's up, Ray? Ray's out there answering questions already. So y'all hit us hard with those hard-hitting questions. Uh, remember, you can have your question featured on one of our amazing emails uh, for these lunch break recipes. Uh, so let's dive right in. What we're gonna need for this recipe is, of course, a stick-resistant cooking mat, a cooking device that'll get 350 degrees. You don't have to use the Rectech grill. You can use any type of grill oven or any apparatus, but of course we're going to use that RT700 uh, today. That's my personal grill. It's gone through many, many miles, so I know it's, it's going to uh, do the job for us. But we're going to need us some jalapenos. We've got these awesome jalapenos today. Uh, I've got some little Smokies here. I've got some cooked shrimp. I have us uh, some delicious uh, cream cheese. Now this is not like a normal cream cheese. This is like the fluffy cream cheese by Philadelphia. Uh, it's, I guess, been kind of churned up a little bit. I've also got some pimento cheese. Last week was Master's Week, so I wanted to give a little shout out uh, to um, the Augusta National for the pimento cheese. And then, of course, we got the, uh, the one ingredient that you always need, and that's bacon. So we're gonna mix all these up together, and they're gonna turn out like these delicious jalapeno poppers turned out uh, for me today. So the first step, uh, one of the most important ones, is to get these jalapeno poppers cut open, and we need to get the seeds uh, as well as all of those veins out. Now please forgive me, this is uh, uh, kind of dirty. Let me clean it up a little bit uh, from when I did it earlier. But again, what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna cut these jalapenos in half. Now you can see I got a beautiful stem on there. That stem is actually gonna help us out later on. It'll actually make it look a lot cooler uh, and make it a little bit easier to eat. But essentially, we just wanna cut this bad boy kind of at a diagonal, diagonal line like that, okay? Diangle. So that way, we get a really thick one and then we get one that we can actually use the stem to eat it with. So, we get your spoon. You're also gonna need a spoon. And you don't wanna go from the top down. You actually wanna start from the bottom and work your way up to get out all of those seeds and veins. And that's where all the heat is located, of course. You guys all knew that. Um, but that essentially is how we want our jalapeno popper to look. That way we can stuff it full of some good stuff. And again, if you see some ingredients here that you don't like, you don't have to use those ingredients. You guys can make this your own. I've seen a lot of folks out there tag me and a bunch of cooks making a recipe that we showed them even better. So I encourage you to take these recipes and turn them into a family recipe and make them your own. Again, I, oh man, that one's gonna be a good one. I can actually get, get all up in there and I know I can get that whole thing in my mouth. Give me something to hold on to. But again, start from the bottom and work your way up. Why don't you wanna start from the top and you work your way to the, to, to the down? <laughs> I'm silly. Why don't you wanna start from the top and work your way to the bottom? Uh, because um, I found that the jalapeno will rip a little bit easier. Um, they're a little bit easier to work with when you go from the bottom to the top. You don't have any um, breakage or rippage, ripping these things. But I encourage you, put your comments in the comment section down below, and we will do the hardest to get to those amazing comments and answer any and all questions that you do have. Uh, remember, we're doing this live every day. 
Monday through Friday, 12 p.m. noon, in the Rec Tech Rules Facebook page. We're also doing this live Monday through Thursday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard, live on the Rec Tech Rules Facebook page. So I encourage you, set your notifications. That way you guys know when we go live. That way you can catch us every time. All right, I'm not gonna do all of these because I'm feeling lazy. Um, so, but I am gonna do two, two, and two. I'm gonna do three different recipes for you today. Couldn't be easier. 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. All we're doing is we're browning up that bacon. Okay, so with the hollow, uh, I'm gonna start with the cream cheese. A little bit right here with our spoon. Put it inside that spoon. Just spread that on out there. Look at that, even coverage is what you want. Why? Because you want that delicious cream cheese in each and every bite. That's what you want. It's also gonna balance out some of that, a little bit of that heat, because you're gonna get a little bit of heat from the um, jalapenos, um, So, but it's gonna balance out. So we're gonna do four of these with cream cheese in them, and then two with now. And again, we're doing three different styles. But shout out to all of you folks watching, all 300 and something of you. I really do appreciate it. 400 cheese and crackers. All right, so we're gonna start right there. I'm gonna place my little smoky. Again, all this stuff is cooked, guys. So you could essentially eat this raw if you wanted to. Essentially, we're just making sure that that bacon is cooked to perfection. Now here, we've got some tail on. Uh, shrimp. Now I'm gonna leave the tail on uh, because I, if I don't have a stem, this is gonna give me something to hold on to when I eat it. So look at that. That looks gorgeous. But again, I got pick these up at Kroger. Shout out Kroger this morning. And I just straighten them out a little bit. That way, that tail ends up where I want it to end up. Now these other ones, we're gonna make it a little bit more simpler. A little easier. There's only going to have two ingredients. We're going to put some of this delicious pimento cheese already made for us. These would be knock your socks off good if you actually made that pimento cheese. But I wanted it to be easy for my folks out there in Facebook land, so I just picked up a little bit of that pimento cheese. And again, nice even coverage. Why? Because you want to taste it in each and every bite. That's why you got it. All right, now. Uh, let's take us some delicious Smithfield bacon. Shout out our folks, our friends out there in Smithfield Nation. Take some of this delicious bacon. We're gonna take a jalapeno. And then you're just simply gonna wrap it up. Just like my boy Smokey on, uh, what's that movie? I can't remember. Wrap it up, B. Well, that's kind of, that was kind of nasty, but make sure they're nice and tight so everything stays in there. But again, any bacon, I, I suggest you guys use the thin cut bacon. That way it doesn't take uh, too long uh, to cook and render out. But essentially, we just need to get that bacon cooked. That's all we need to do. And what's the time and temp for bacon, Jody? Well, 350 degrees, take about 25 to 30 minutes for how I like it. 375 degrees, take about 15 minutes how I like my bacon. I like it with some color on it. You guys can see the finished results uh, over there looking smashingly beautiful. But you just wanna make sure that these things are nice and tight. Now I know some of you folks out there were like, oh, don't, did you just put that one on backwards? I did, and I apologize. Wrap it up. Bless you, John Dillon. Wrap it up nice and tight. Again, I wish uh, all of you, uh, hopefully all of you folks out there had an amazing Easter. I know my family and I did. Uh, it was a great day. Good. Wrapping it up. And then this last one. Now I encourage you to make these your own, man. Uh, Add your own spin on this. If your family, well, 
that bacon kind of crapped out on me. But I encourage you to put your family spin on this. You know, if you're a family that likes mostly vegetables and not so much meat, load that bad boy up with some veggies. You'll be just fine. Mm, look at those. Now, we're gonna use our stick resist. I could have built these on the mat, which I probably should have for y'all, but I didn't. And we'll just place them on the stick resistant cooking mat. Again, this can be used in your oven, be used in any kind of pellet grill. You just don't want to use it with direct flame because it'll burn up on you, okay? And it's a Teflon coated uh, fiberglass mesh material that is FDA approved and safe to eat off of. But I'm gonna take my mat. Uh, first, I'm gonna open my grill. It's been sitting at 350 degrees. Uh, it took 15 minutes to preheat. I'm burning the ultimate blend pellet, a mixture of red oak, white oak, and hickory. That oak is super mild. Hickory is going to give me a good smoke flavor. It's those three woods blended perfectly together to give you an amazing, amazing flavor. Bad boy up. Night, night. I almost forgot a very important step. Go ahead and hit it with some of that Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub. This is just gonna jack it up even further. Uh, the Ben's Heifer Dust is also an amazing seasoning to use. Heck, you can even use that Jody's Asian Persuasion. Give it a little extra kick uh, or any other seasoning. You just don't wanna put too much on it. going to go in at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. It's about how long I like my bacon to cook. Uh, let's get to some of the questions. We'll plate some of these up in just a second. There's not too many questions out there. Or there's not too many questions that Ray Carnes didn't get into, huh? huh? Uh, it's looking a little grainy out there, so I do apologize. Let's see here. Guys, uh, talking about some pheasant poppers. Those sound absolutely amazing. You know, during our wild game episode, uh, a fun day Friday, we did some dove poppers. Those were off the chain good too. Chris Long said he sold his brother-in-law on the stampede, and he let him get some pellets from his bundle. That's awesome. Jeff Wilford says his veggies need a rec tech. You gosh darn right, Jeff. Visit rectechgirls.com. Uh, you guys always ask about my awesome barbecue apron. Uh, I get it from I got it from Atlas Forty Six. Uh, it's made in the USA. It's a tactical apron. You guys uh, visit them. Tell them Rectech Jody sent you, or the guys at Rectech sent you. Andy Murdoch, I appreciate you out there watching. Uh, shout out to all of the uh, media team out there. You guys have been killing it working from home. Ray Carnes is killing it out there in the comment section. Miss Ashley Hall. Guys, if you are looking for an amazing uh, lady to follow out there on the internet, uh, Ashley Hall Outdoors is fun to follow. She does some amazing cooks. She's always out there hunting something. And she's got a heck of an amazing husband as well. So you guys uh, follow Ashley Hall. Thank you so much for watching, Ashley. We really do appreciate all you do for us. Um... Ben says he wants us to do that bacon wrap quail. That's cool. What exactly is a smoky? Very good point. A cocktail wiener is what I call a little smoky. Um, it's just a beanie weenie. Uh, one of those uh, that they put in um, the uh, beans as well. Smokies, cocktail weenies. You know, they usually are surrounded by barbecue sauce and in a crock pot, and you use a uh, toothpick to get them out. They're already cooked. They're delicious. Mm. Uh, shout out, Tracy Wright. Thank you so much for watching. Ooh, Michael says Swiss cheese brings out the flavor. Okay. Costco, uh, Ray Carnes says Costco's selling some amazing pimento cheeses right now. Um, 
All right, here's a really good question from my buddy Jason Barry. He says, which rec tech do you recommend for a small family? We cook for two to four people. Well, Jason, let me get up on my soapbox real quick. Um, all right, that was me getting on my soapbox. Uh, it's just my wife and I, and then we have two small children, and you can see we have the RT700. We also have the RTB380. Um, now, when my wife and I, when we first got the grill, uh, it was just us, uh, and she she obviously had the concern. Man, that is just that's just going to be too much grill for us. But it absolutely wasn't. You know, we're not just cooking our proteins in this grill. We're also cooking our vegetables. We're cooking our sides. We're baking breads. We're doing pizzas. We're doing desserts. I made peanut butter cookies with bacon in them last night. Recipe to come soon. Mm -hmm. You guys make sure you stay tuned. I'm gonna be doing cookies. Absolutely, we, we bake cookies in this grill. Um, but it was just my wife and I, we got the RT680, and it totally met our needs. Um, I can't tell you how many folks get a smaller grill and call back and say, man, I should have just went ahead and got the big one. Why? Because you find yourself cooking more. You find yourself expanding your culinary horizons. So uh, if you're on the fence, man, I would definitely encourage you to go bigger. Uh, but for a family of two to four, the RT590 and the RT340, uh, will also, you know, uh, suit your needs just fine. Uh, my family, we do really big turkeys, and we do really big hams, and I like to do briskets and leg of lambs. So the art. Um, I'm gonna scroll up, see if we can get to more questions. Jeff and Julie Stout are out there. Uh, Tamara said she got her first tri-tip. That's awesome, Tamara. Hopefully you got it from the New York Butcher Shop. But we did a tri-tip for Funday Friday, and boy, that was a, a fun episode. It was also a delicious episode as well. Um, we did tri-tip two ways. We reverse seared it. Well, actually three ways. We reverse seared it, we stuffed it, and we regular seared it. Um, so I encourage you to look back on the record. Of course, these delicious jalapeno poppers. Got one right there, two right here with pimento cheese. I've got two right here with delicious scrimpies in them, and then I've got uh, two normal ones. Now, normal by normal, I mean stuffed with a little smoky and some cream cheese, but it couldn't be easier, guys. 350 degrees for about 20 25 minutes or until your bacon's done if you want to do 375 and live your rec tech lifestyle a little bit faster that's fine not a big deal um, but essentially everything but the bacon is already cooked you know so uh, we're just waiting on that bacon to get done um, and this is a quick and easy recipe it's great tailgates you know um, if you're gonna do a whole mess of them like 50 you know, it does take a little while to kind of prep them, um, but you know, you're really gonna impress your family, your friends, if you've never done anything like this before. Um, but yeah, get on in here, that camera. The Rectech family. Oh, yeah, look at that right there. That looks absolutely delicious. These have cooled down enough to where I can actually enjoy them. So let me give you a little taste test. You can see that, that pepper has been cooked. A lot of that flavor is starting to come out, is, is coming out of it. Um, all those natural flavoring from the peppers. If you grow your own jalapenos, this is a great way to use those up. Mm. Mm. That's got. I mean, the heat. Mm. The heat is not overpowering. It is just right there. It goes away, kind of like wasabi. It doesn't linger because we got rid of those veins. We got rid of all the stuff on the inside. Uh, we got rid of the seeds. All the stuff that kind of carries a lot of that heat for the jalapeno. Mm. And the more sugar you add to it, you know, the less heat that you're going to get out of those. But man, that was some good stuff. Now, let's get all up in this one with the shrimp. You guys know I love my shrimp. Oh, yeah. That Dirty Girl rub, you know, it also brings a, a, a level of flavor to the table. 
you know, that you really want. Mm. This is, I, this is hands down my favorite shrimp, cream cheese, bacon. Uh, Need a mess of those, y'all. This is the reason why you gotta sign up for the lunch break emails so you can get incredible stuff like this. So you can just knock this out of the park, you know, mix it up. You got some time nowadays, let's just mix it up. Let's do, let's cook some stuff we've never cooked before. Oh man, look at that little smoky right there. Now, they have different flavors of little smokies, they have different flavors of cream cheese. So you can really toss the flavor around. Heck, I even love to see some, um, you guys know I love pepper jelly or a breakfast jalapeno popper. Put you some eggs, more bacon, some sausage in there. Heck, you could even like cut, oh man, think about this. Make yourself some French toast and put the French toast in there and wrap it in bacon. Oh my gosh. I just blew my brain up the back side of my head with that one. Mm. Again, I left that little stem on. Made it super easy for me to eat. Mm. I even impress myself sometimes, guys. This is absolutely amazing. And I can't let this shrimp not get eaten. So, again, my favorite, hands down, is gonna be that shrimp cream cheese uh, excuse me, bacon. You can also do both of them. You can put a little smoky shrimp and sausage in here. You guys remember when I made those awesome sausage pinwheels where we mixed up ground sausage and cream cheese? You could do that mixture on the inside of these bad boys. The possibilities are endless. If you're a chicken person, put some chicken in this bad boy. If you're a pork person, put some more pork in here. You know, veggies go great in here. This is just a great all around little snack to enjoy. Oh. I wouldn't lie to you, that's freaking delicious. As Chef Greg, Greg would say, this does not suck. All right, so let's send some shout outs to you guys for watching. Jeff and Julie Stouter out there, Pit Masters from the Rec Tech Academy. We appreciate you guys for joining in. If you guys are looking for hands down one of the best barbecue cooking classes and just backyard cooking classes. I encourage you to sign up for that Rec Tech Academy. Available. <coughs> Get a little seed in the back of the throat there. Let me enjoy some delicious Shinerbach to wash that all down with. Mm. But we've got Rec Tech Academy classes available now. Uh, if you're looking, to expand your barbecue knowledge or your backyard knowledge or your rec tech knowledge or any kind of grill knowledge. I would encourage you to sign up for that. It makes a great uh, bachelor party gift. It makes a great Father's Day gift. It also makes a great gift uh, nonetheless. We've got some ladies coming in as well. So guys, don't sleep on it. It's also a great gift to get your ladies. Shout out Brandon Dudley. He's always watching out there. Ben Love, what's up B Love? He says it's looking really good. Um, now, I don't normally eat jalapenos on anything, but this is the only thing that I will enjoy a jalapeno on. Um, where do you sign up for the lunch break email? That is an amazing question. Um, I would encourage you to go to rectechgrills.com forward slash lunch break. And that site is where you can actually sign up for the lunch break emails. You can also just sign up for the Rectech uh, Grills email just by going to any page on rectechgrills.com, scrolling all the way down to the bottom where it says uh, sign up for the newsletter, put your email in there, hit the return key, and you're good to go. Uh, it'll send you an email confirming all of that good stuff, and then you'll be signed up. You can also win some stuff on with the emails as well. We'd be giving away stuff all the time to people that stay subscribed. So I encourage you to stay subscribed for those uh, emails as well. Guys, smash that share button for me. Give me a like, give me a love. We really would appreciate it. I know there are folks out there that want to know how to cook the hands down the best jalapeno popper ever. And Johnny Flanagan, your Rec Tech Girls expert, just did that for you live, right here on the Rec Tech Girls Facebook page. Now, we see a lot of folks out there going live from their, uh, their Facebook pages now, and we really, really do appreciate uh, all of the love that we're seeing out there. People are tagging us in their posts and stuff. There's also other grill companies out there copying us. We see you. We see you watching us all the time, other grill companies.
But Ray Carnes, the owner of Rectech Grills, is in the comment section down below. So if you have any hard-hitting questions that we haven't hit, put them in the comment section. We need your questions, guys, to help this show continue on. We also need all of your suggestions on what we should cook to help this show go on. If you want to see more episodes live of Lunch Break, of After Hours, of Fun Day Friday, you guys got to give us the content so we know what you guys want to see. Um, <clears throat> Uh, Mr. Bridges is asking, what kind of fish have y'all cooked? Son, we've done trout, we've done bronzino, we've done mahi, we've done salmon, we've done bass, we've done uh, tuna, we've done uh, shark, uh, we've done, man, we've done all kinds of fishies. Check out RecTechGirls.com, uh, the recipes on RecTechGirls.com for all of those amazing recipes. And also sign up. Oh, uh, my boy Matthew Snowden, he actually put probably can't see it it's very glary but he actually put the uh, lunch break um, link in the comment section so make sure you uh, hit that Jackie says it makes a great Mother's Day gift or birthday gift hint 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 uh, family of Jackie Bill Foster my boy what's up Bill how are you bud hopefully you're doing well um, Lucas says there's actually other grill companies question mark that's right, Lucas, we're the only grill company. Why? Because everybody's playing for second? Because we play for keeps. This ain't no game. Oh man, there's one more. I always forget the third one. Game set. Game set match. Everybody's playing for second. This ain't no game. Um, but the Bubba Reeves, Bubba, thank you so much. Bubba is a police officer. Thank you so much for doing what you're doing, Bubba. We really do appreciate uh, you being out there and taking care of everybody here. Um, Matthews all the way from California. What's up, Matthew? Jeff Nichols wants to see us do some pizzas. Done, Jeff. We're going to do some pizzas here soon. It's actually on my list. Uh, Nicholas Dalton wants to see uh, deep fried peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I think we might be able to do some peanut butter and jelly egg rolls. Nick Dalton, I want to see you do that. Tag us in it, buddy. Um, Thomas is asking, hey, why don't you guys make a second rack for the RT700? Man, that is a great question, Thomas. Let me get on that right now. All right, took me a couple of seconds, but I made one. Look at this. This is now available at RecTechGirls.com. This is the second shelf for the RT700. Goes on the inside, just like so. Now, let me show you something really, really cool my buddy Jeff Williamson showed me how to do. You see the shelf? Okay, you see it? Flip it upside down, and there's handles right here. Oh my God, you can pick it up and put it on your table. Dave Williamson, you're a genius. You can load up the jalapeno poppers on this bad boy, use these handles to put it in the grill, and then use the handles to get it out. Mind blown when my boy Dave Williamson showed me that. But again, uh, the large second shelf, there's also a smaller second shelf available at rectechgirls.com, guys. And it just so happens to fit right there on the hopper, so. Hey, John Dillon, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us today. What was your favorite part of the show? <sighs> me? You son of a good. That's my favorite part of the show, too. I'm just joking. Um, but guys, smash that share button for me. Give me a like. Give me a love. Please follow me on my social media. Um, and just to give you a heads up, I, I teased you earlier. You want to eat that? You don't? Okay, that's fine. I teased you earlier. We are going to be giving away an RT700, okay? We're giving away an RT700. Head on over to the Rectech Grills Facebook page to see how you can win yourself this amazing grill that I have. Uh, six year warranty, 40 pound hopper, PID controller that's gonna hold your temperature perfectly. You can walk away and you don't have to worry about it fluctuating in temperature like the competition for a gas or a charcoal grill. Uh, this one features the front folding shelf, the uh, competition cart, stainless steel as far as the eye can see. That's right. Get out of here, bug. Uh, 
um, it's got a ceramic ignition system. That mean for you as a customer that means it's going to start every time it's not a metal igniter rod like the competition uses those metal igniter rods go out all the time you have to swap them out you know why mess with that you know uh, but it's got all of the amazing components the number one thing that makes us different is our customer service our build quality and you get the personal cell phone numbers of both of the owners as well as the general manager when you purchase something from us we also treat you like family. You guys are here live at my house. My son's running around. I let you in my front yard just to cook with me. Not every grill company out there is gonna do that, guys. Uh, we encourage you to share this video, like this video, and help spread that rec tech love. Don't forget, we gave away two RT340s last week. Watch the previous episodes to see how you can win yourself an RT340. We're giving away an RT700 at RecTech Grills Facebook page, so make sure you head on over there and check out my buddies, Chef John and Chef Greg. They'll be going live from their homes later this week. If you guys follow us on social media, we also go live um, sporadically. Chef John actually goes live late night doing some stuff. Chef Greg will go live on the weekends. Uh, we all uh, have business pages as well. I encourage you to uh, follow Chef Greg Muller, RecTech Chef John, and then Jody Flanagan, BBQ Dad, all on Facebook. That's where you're going to be getting that exclusive content. But sign up for the newsletter, share this video, and go win yourself an RT700 by head, heading on over to the Rec Tech Girls Facebook page. Guys, we did jalapeno poppers today for lunch break. It couldn't have been easier. Shout out to John Dillon, my son, for helping me out. Shout out to all of you guys. Um, shout out to my neighbors. They're watching live from their uh, driveway. What's up, guys? The Huston's out there, killing it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, God bless, oh, and uh, uh, thank you so much to the frontline workers. We really do appreciate it. Um, all of you guys that are going to work each and every day, thank you for keeping this country running. We're thinking about you guys in the Southeast that were affected by the storms. Um, but just hold your heads up, America. Uh, we're getting, we're all in this together. So God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And we'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Rick Tech Lifestyle. I don't have a song like John. I don't have a song like John. I don't have a song like John. John's got a song, it's all his own. Rick Tech Lifestyle.